must be the Temple of Nathal. Be ready. Corypheus will be there. I hear fighting ahead. Namelana Sabanalev. They still think to fight us, Master. These are but remnants. They will not keep us from the Well of Sorrows. Well of Sorrows? Be honored. Witness death at the hands of a new god. Cannot be. Across the bridge, now. At last, Mathal's sanctum. Let us proceed before Corypheus interferes. You said Corypheus wanted an Illuvian, but he mentioned a Well of Sorrows, which is right. I am uncertain of what he referred to. You're not certain? You said you knew what he was looking for. Confidence can carry one only so far, it seems. I suspected. I did not know. Yes, I was wrong. Does that please you? Whatever the Well of Sorrows might be, Corypheus seeks it, and thus you must keep it from his grasp. Let's find this well before Corypheus' people do. I want to know how Corypheus returned to life. We saw him die. And his life force passes on to any blighted creature, Darkspawn, or Grey Warden. Then Corypheus cannot die. Destroy his body and he will assume another. We'll find a way to stop him once we're done here. It is strange. Archdemons possess the same ability and still the Grey Wardens are able to slay them. Yet Corypheus, they locked away. Perhaps they knew he could do this. But not how. Yes? Are you certain Corypheus is using the power of the Blight to make himself immortal? Perhaps you forget. I was in Ferelden during the Fifth Blight. I have seen a true Archdemon rage. How Corypheus gained the power to send his soul into blighted bodies. That is the real question. Will answering that question let us destroy Corypheus for good? 
Perhaps I would suggest first dealing with the well. If Corypheus obtains it, any chance of success could be lost. Do you know what this part of the temple was used for? The room we stand in is a vestibule, not the temple proper. To those who knew it, perhaps this ritual was little more than a polite knock at the gate. These customs must have been as familiar to ancient elves as bowing to a queen is to you or I. I find it difficult to picture you curtsying to anyone. Have we become so familiar you can predict my manners and customs now? Nothing is lost by indulging in the occasional civilized conduct, particularly when unexpected. You said this Mithal was worshipped as a goddess. So one assumes. What is a god but a being of immense power? The dread old gods were nothing more than dragons, after all. They rise as archdemons, and they die. Perhaps Mithal was a powerful elf, a ruler among her kind. History often plays storyteller with facts. You admit lack of knowledge, and yet dismiss her so readily? I do not dismiss her. I question her supposed divinity. One need not be a god to have value. Truthfully, I'm uncertain Mithal was even a single entity. The accounts are varied. There are varied accounts of Mithal. In most stories, Mithal rights wrongs while exercising motherly kindness. Let fly your voice to Mithal, deliverer of justice, protector of sun and earth alike. Other paint her as dark, vengeful. Pray to Mithal and she would smite your enemies, leaving them in agony. More Dalish tales, I assume. If you know more about this, Solus, speak. The oldest accounts say Mithal was both of these, and neither. She was the mother, protective and fierce. That is all I will say. This is not a place to stir up old stories. Whatever the truth, all accounts of Mithal end the same. Exiled to the beyond with her brethren. What do you mean, exiled? Tricked by the Dread Wolf, as all the Elven Gods were said to be, trapped in a land beyond the Fade. Many Dalish believe this is why the Elves fell from grace, and their gods did not save them. Or perhaps they were simply rulers slain by Tevinta. Who can say? You've seen the Elves here. They seem... odd. Indeed. Two things are possible. One, this is a group of Dalish separated from their brethren, cultists, fanatic in their desire to keep humans away. Two, these are elves descended from the ancients having resided here since before the fall of Arlathan. The second appears unlikely, but if true, the implications are astounding. If they keep records, it could change everything we thought we knew about history. It is thrilling, no? To discover an era thought lost forever has possibly thrived in the shadows. We may, however, find these elves reluctant to part with their long-kept secrets. Yes? Let's continue. As you wish.